Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be comparing two numbers. We have 19 to the power 12 and 3 to the power 32. And we're going to find out which number is greater. I'll be presenting two methods. The first method is going to be pretty short. And the second method uh, kind of explains what is going on with the first method, but it uses a different approach, at least initially. Okay, so let's take a look. First method. I have 19 and 3, so it, might, it makes sense to check the powers of those numbers, right? And that's what I did. I made a chart, a huge chart with pretty much uh, the first 5, you know, 10, 15 powers of primes, and then kind of looking at numbers that are pretty close. That's how I came up with this problem, okay? So you can come up with problems like this as well. So here's what I got. 19 to the third power equals 6,859. You probably didn't memorize this, did you? And then 3 to the eighth power is 6,561. Wow, they're so close, right? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Since 19 to the third power is greater than 3 to the eighth power, as you can see, 6,800, then this is 6,500. We're going to raise both sides to the fourth power. And that's going to give us 19 to the power 12 is greater than 3 to the power 32. Case closed. Our larger number is 19 to the power 12. That's the winner. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the second method now. For my second method, I'm going to be using the binomial theorem. Are you familiar with that? Well, it kind of looks like this if you written in the n form, a to the power n plus, you know, n choose 1. I, I just skipped the n choose 0. You could also write it that way. a to the power n minus 1b, so on and so forth. There are n, n plus 1 terms. That's a pretty long one, especially if n is large. In this case, we're going to use n equals 3, so it's going to look like this. And we also use this with the cubic formula, so you should be familiar with this, right? If you've seen some other videos, hopefully you did. Okay, so that's the cube formula or the binomial theorem for n equals 3. Okay, you see the symmetry, how the power change goes up and down, so on and so forth. Now we're going to apply this uh, to a numerical expression. Let's go ahead and pick a equals 2 and b equals 1 ninth. You'll see in a little bit why this is helpful. So from here we get the following, 2 plus 1 ninth, I'm going to raise it to the third power. And don't worry, you don't have to expand everything. If you want, you can, if you want to see the whole thing. But it's going to look like this, 2 to the third power plus 3 times 2 squared times 1 over 9, which is b, plus 3 times so on and so forth. I don't really need the other terms, let me show you what I need. This is 8, and this is going to be 3 times 4 times 1 ninth. And that's going to be 12 ninths, and of course there's other terms, of course everything is positive. This becomes something like 8 plus 12 over 9, which can be simplified as 4 thirds. And since 4 thirds is greater than 1, since 4 thirds is greater than 1, this implies 8 plus 4 thirds is greater than 9. So since these two terms, the sum of these two terms is greater than 9 and I'm adding other terms to it, like everything is positive, definitely this sum is going to be greater than 9 for sure, right? And that's what I have with my original expression. So 2 plus 1 ninth to the third power is going to be greater than 9. Let's rewrite it. 2 plus 1 ninth to the power 3 is greater than 9. Obviously, you may not get this result directly without using the binomial theorem. And if uh, you don't get the first few terms, continue to expand. At some point, if you are adding a whole number to a fraction, the fraction is going to get much, much smaller, so you can pretty much ignore it. Anyway, so this is the inequality that we got. What are we going to do with this? Well, it should be helpful, right? Let's make a common denominator. We get 19 over 9 to the third power is greater than 9. And then this can be expanded. Remember the rule for a over b to the n, a to the n, b to the n. So now this is going to become 19 to the third divided by 9 to the third is greater than 9. Now we can cross multiply. 9 to the third is positive. Be careful because this is not an equation. This is an inequality. 
We don't say in equation, we just say inequality. Anyways, so multiply both sides by 9 to the third and you get this awesome, beautiful, amazing, crazy inequality. Why is it crazy? Because that's exactly what we used with the first method. How did I know that? Well, because I looked at the powers and they're pretty close. Okay, great. So we got this and what are we going to do? Same thing. We do need 19 to the power 12. Oh, by the way, we're going to go over this and then I'll show you a couple facts about these numbers, which is pretty interesting, I think. So stick around. Raised to the fourth power. And then, of course, we are supposed to uh, raise both sides, right, to the, uh, let me see, 19 to the third power. Oh, okay. One thing that I forgot to do before I raise this, I'm going to change the 9 to a power of 3. Because remember, our goal was to compare, get too excited, to compare these two numbers. So I do need a 3, not a 9. So I can go ahead and write the 9 as, because 9 to the fourth is 3 squared to the fourth. I can write it as 3 to the eighth power. Now our formula is going to work fine. Raise both sides to the fourth power. And of course, you could also do that and then after convert it, but I just like to do it this way. 19 to the power 12 is going to be greater than 3 to the power 32. And those are exactly the numbers that we were trying to compare. This doesn't bring us to the end because I still have to show you some numerical facts. Let's go ahead and take a look. First of all, numerically, 19 to the power 12 is about 2.2 times 10 to the power 15. And the other number is obviously smaller, 1.85 times 10 to the 15. So they're uh, about the same order of magnitude, right? Or the same order of magnitude. They're uh, pretty close. The ratio, if you look at their ratio, obviously, that's going to be less than one. So that's nice. Okay. But not only that, we can also name it, what are they called? Quadrillion. So our numbers are like kind of 2.2 quadrillion and 1.8 quadrillion or million billion. How about that? 16 decimal digits and as a comparison, it's about 110 times the number of red blood cells in the human body. I don't know if you're going to need this information, but that's a large number. And... This brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.